Welcome back to the channel. The three NES games for November have hit the NES online app on the Nintendo Switch. So now is the perfect time to talk about the three games coming in December. Before we do that, we're also going to take a look at the surprise they dropped for us in November, which is the Gradius Special. Without further ado, let's get into it. Let's jump into Gradius Special. As we start, you'll notice we're pretty much maxed out on all the power-ups. You'll also notice that we're not starting off on the first level. I'm not going to get too far into the game, but it seems Nintendo is just maxing us out and giving us a whole new experience entirely. Now, while playing this, I did notice that when I got two of these arm rock guy things on my screen at the same time, it started to slow down. I'm not too sure if this is my own Switch or even intentional. Let me know in the comments if you experienced the same thing. Adventures of Lolo is an action puzzle adventure where you play as the little fuzzball, Lolo, who is out rescuing Princess Lala from King Edgar. The game takes place in Eggert's castle, which consists of 50 levels. I only know this part because I had to Google it. There are some real brain busters in this game, where I got stumped more often than not. The game gives you all the necessary resources to complete the level, but if you end up using those resources in the wrong way, you'll find yourself with nothing to do but to press that select button and restart the level at the cost of a life. You'll face many enemies in Eggert's castle, which affect Lolo differently. Some will kill you with one touch, while others will trap you in a corner to force you to level restart. Accomplishing a tough level is very rewarding, and maybe one day I'll end up rescuing the princess. Warrior Woods. I was not familiar with Warrior Woods until I played with the intention of making this video. At first glance, I thought it was Toad blowing up cute little creatures, while a fairy provides her the bombs to do it. I read into the story a little bit so I could feel a little bit better about talking about it. Toad is actually attempting to prevent Wario from taking over the Mushroom Kingdom, and those cute little creatures are actually Wario's minions. Cool story, right? Warrior Woods is a puzzle game where you must match up the bombs and monsters by color. Eradicating all the monsters grants passage to the next level. For such a simple game, the gameplay is rather adept. Toad can be very versatile in the way things can be arranged. Toad can kick, pick up, climb, run up monsters and bombs. If you master all these movements, it makes the game so much more enjoyable. As I got used to all these mechanics, I spent a lot of time playing and enjoying this game. Ninja Gaiden, what a true classic for the NES, a game I'm surprised wasn't on the service at launch. After picking up Ninja Gaiden for the first time some years back, it quickly became one of my favorites for the NES. Its side-scrolling action kept me entertained for countless hours. You play as Ryu when after the death of his father sets him on the path of vengeance, and later finding himself intertwined in an event that threatens the entire world. As Ryu, you'll be slashing through countless enemies with your katana and your three special abilities, like throwing stars, a windmill star, and the jumping slash. At the end of each act, you'll face off against one of the Malice Four. Ninja Gaiden, like most NES games, can be extremely challenging, but the more you play, the better you get. You know, practice makes perfect. This game is a true test of skill in the NES platformer realm. Now, not a lot of people are fond with the Switch online service, but I for one love the ability to play these classics online with friends. I'm excited for what Nintendo has coming next, and curious on what special we'll also see soon. I for one am expecting a Metroid special. What do you guys think? Be sure to tell me in the comments. Thanks for watching. If you like videos just like this one, game reviews, weekly podcasts, be sure to hit that subscribe button so you can stay updated on all our content.